is it that would be in the neglected corner inside the mosque? The tomb of Muhammad Ali, exactly. So if you walk all the way inside the mosque with a niche over there indicating the praying direction, in the neglected corner over here would be the tomb of Muhammad Ali. What, will, what is it that the first thing that you notice over here on the door of the tomb? Exactly. So that takes us again to where I started earlier this morning. Remember what we said? With all of the religions as the celestial religion, built and based one on top of the other, and with the Islamic world and the Muslims believing from the beginning of the Genesis, Adam and Eve, Abel and Canaan, right? And even believing in Father Abraham, in Ishmael, and in Isaac, in Jacob, and in Joseph, and in David, and in Solomon. So it's not surprising at all to find even the six-pointed star of David over here as uh, an artistic uh, element. Especially that Egypt would be easily described as the earth, or the pot, in which all art and religion melted and fused together, thus influencing each other like that. This is what we call the star plate, taking the shape of the six-pointed star of David in the center and then radiating and regathering and reassembling. And that would be even the same idea of the star plate ornating the icon stasis in the church, which is the carrier or the bearer of the icons on top of it. You can see through that door and that you would be see, which would be showing you the tomb itself inside built out of marble, ornated with floral motifs and patterns, and Arabic inscriptions, which are all verses and praying texts from the Quran, the holy book of the Muslims. Around the room, it is surrounded by silk curtains and candelabrum made out of pure silver and crystals. The silk, the silver, and the crystals were imported for the tomb of Muhammad Ali from Damascus, Turkey, and Iran. While you are looking through the door, I would like you to notice, can you see the Turkish bed design on the top up there? Can you see it on top of the tomb inside? The Turkish fez, that is always a style used by the Turks in identifying genders of deceased buried within the tomb. In case of a masculine burial, they would put the Turkish fez like that. In case of a feminine burial, they would put the Turkish feminine head with a veil hanging down from it.